Hello, John. Your fate and your friends is yours. You clearly don't know anything about Michael Jackson. Pew, 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 pew. No! All right, folks, I'm glad you're here with us today. And uh, today we have a very special guest, a very big Star Wars fan. Not just a big Star Wars fan, a big Star Wars action figure fan. And he has quite the collection. And uh, we're going to do some fun stuff today. So we're going to go check out his collection. Um, we're not going to do it right here. I mean, we're doing a show. But we'll show you some video of a... Uh, or of his Star Wars room, and uh, even a little bit of me and him playing Star Wars figures, going at it, battling it out. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the world's biggest Star Wars fan, Aaron Mystery. Oh, he's got he's 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 all he's all decked out, and his uh, what is this? What do you call this? What's well, a dinosaur? I, I know it's a dinosaur. Is it part of the Star Wars universe, or? Well, it could be if I were a mythosaur. Mm, and you brought um, your uh, Keystone Light here with you? Yeah, every Star Wars fan <laughs> drinks Keystone Light to help him get through episodes of Mandalorian Season 3. Am I right? And normally our guests drink uh, coffee or water, but um, I see you're here to party. No, Disney Star Wars has turned me into alcoholic. And can you explain your problem with Disney Star Wars? Please. Yeah, I can. So they started off on a high note with The Mandalorian Seasons 1 and 2. And Andor was the best Star Wars i ever seen. That's a hot take. <laughs> and you could have just end it right there. Just let me... I am the interviewer, so I do got to ask you some questions. Oh, am I supposed to look at you? So or a fan? <laughs> have you never been on a talk show before in a dinosaur costume? Yeah, I've been on David Letterman, Conan O'Brien, The Joe Rogan Show. <laughs> the Joe Rogan Show. Do, yeah, do you I, have any Star Wars conspiracies you'd like to discuss with us? You think there's something going on behind the scenes that is making the material not quite as good as you want it to be? Well, I mean, it's not really a hot take. That's what we say in the Star Wars world. We say hot take all the time. Okay, okay. Kathleen Kennedy. Is that, is that what nerds say to sound cool? Hot take? No, we say, we say Kathleen Kennedy sucks oh, to okay. sound cool. Okay, okay. Because if you walk up to a Star Wars fan, you're like, Kathleen Kennedy sucks. They shake your hand and they say, may the force be with you. Speaking of shaking hands, welcome to the show, Thanks, Aaron man. Mystery. Yeah. Anyway, we're not yeah. really here to talk about like Star Wars shows or movies or anything like that. I mean, we can get, that, we can get a little bit in that if you, if you want to. But what we're really here to talk about is you are a huge Star Wars figure collector, aren't you? I, I, I am. I've had better Star Wars collections in the past, but I, I'm, I've got like 300 figures. So you're starting over right now. You're, you're starting over It's the third time I've started over. That's the, how much I love collecting. third collecting. time since how old were you? Three. And what was your first Star Wars figure? Bosk. Bosk. <laughs> You have a story about Bosk. Right. You were a very uh, you religious went to Sunday youngster. school. Yeah. You, you went to church. And tell us about Bosk. He had a little cross on his outfit. So I thought he was a Christian. <laughs> he's probably not. but No, he's a Transdotian. Which equals not Christian? or I don't think Transdotians have any concept of human religions. Transdotian? No, he's a boy. He's okay. He, he him. Okay, he okay, him. okay. So he was your first, and, yeah. and and just give us this little little air example, like like in the air. Say, Bosk met Luke, Luke Skywalker in your in your Star Wars universe, like when you're playing figures. I don't what, have a what Bosk would you, right now, though. No, I'm saying when you were a kid and you first got that Bosk figure. And he was interacting with another Star Wars figure. What would be the interaction that you would have? Well, Luke Skywalker would be in his house drinking some uh, blue or green milk, depending on which Luke Skywalker you're talking about. As a kid, though, nobody had any knowledge, any knowledge of the the blue milk thing. So, I... what? Luke I... Skywalker's always drink blue milk. Yeah, like in the original Star Wars, he was drinking blue milk. Are you serious? Aunt Bruce or blue milk? He didn't drink green milk till he found a giant sea cow. I actually did not know that. You which learned makes me new. proud. <laughs> so Bosk would knock on his door and he'd say, "Have you heard the good news 
about our Lord Jesus Christ. Is this really how? Did, did this did this really happen when you were a kid? You used to uh, to do this. This was the interaction. I mean, I don't remember. Yeah, probably <laughs> not. I, I think you're making stuff up. But now you have you have a brand new collection. You have a bunch of cool Star Wars figures, modern for the new generation. Yeah. Um, I have Toon Style, five POA. Toon Styles are also five POA. My fluff is going everywhere. <laughs> I thought that was a bug, but I have some super articulated vintage collection figures. Okay. I have one um, vintage figure. I used to have them all, but you know. Stuff happens. So what's your favorite style of Star Wars action figures? Oh, vintage collection. Vintage collection. And 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 out of those, which one of those is actually your favorite? Mm, that's a tough one, man. I can't answer. That's like asking me about a favorite child, even though I have one child. But if I only had one Star Wars figure, I could tell you. So if me and you were to have a Star Wars figure battle right now, yeah. who do you think would win? Plo Koon. Plo Koon. I mean, between me and you, say I'm the, say I'm the rebels and you're the Imperial Alliance. <laughs> Man, you really don't know that. The Empire. Say I'm the rebels and you're the Empire. All right, and we're going to war with our Star Wars figures. You know, we're 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 thinking about it. We're really going at it. Mm -hmm. I got my guys right here, and they're they're your guys are right here, and. And, and we're like, pew, pew, pew. Well, that depends on the Star Wars, the, the Star Wars action figures that you've collected. Yeah. If you only collect like bad guys and you got like two good guys, but I have a balanced collection. So I'm saying I don't have much experience. Oh. I have a little bit of experience playing Star Wars action figures, but not with these new ones. So if me and you were to go head and head in a Star Wars action figure battle, be honest, who would win? Well, my side or your side? For lack of a better term, since you're a newbie, you're a noob. The good guys, because I think I have enough Jedi to handle the Sith. Okay. They're not all Sith. I mean, Kylo Ren's not a Sith. Um, you know, Supreme Leader Snoke's not a Sith. I guess Darth Maul is still a Sith. I don't know how that works in canon. <laughs> and so this has been the longest setup ever. Well, but, I got something to tell but you. To, to, Go ahead. Tell we me. do have a video to play. We're not playing a video. We're playing a video. This no, is, no, no. This is my show. I'm not just a part-time Star Wars fan. Okay. Yeah. You know how Jabba the Hutt was a full-time gangster? Yeah. Well, I'm a full-time prankster. And you're about to enter the worst day of your life. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, please watch the video. This is me, Johnny Kinetic, versus Aaron Mystery in a Star Wars action figure battle. Roll the footage. What are you doing? Hello, John. Your faith in your friends is yours. Your weakness. <sighs> you don't even know where you are. You're in the land of Star Wars, John. Are you ready to play Star Wars like you've never played Star Wars before? Hold B for a second so I can put Arlen. Wait, I got a camera in my hands. Hold on. Oh, hold on, I got a camera in my hands. Welcome, John. I said I was not Jabba the Hutt the Gangster. I'm Aaron Mister the Prankster. And today, we're going to have to kill every Star Wars figure. The dark side or the light side? <laughs> it's the light side versus the dark side. The what is happening in your Star Wars room, bro? Wait, why is this innocent guy, this Ewok, why is he just trying to get away? <laughs> Hello! They got the best hops at this bar. Did you really order hops? You should have ordered wine, guy. Wine is the best here. No, I'm a beer guy. I like, I like uh, high gravity lager and IPA. Ew, you're gross. You clearly don't know anything about Michael Jackson. Will you two stop arguing and get on with it? We're ready for the war. You, I think he passed out, guy. 
What's your name, guy? It's Captain Antilles. Captain Antilles, I think this rebel trooper has passed out. In 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 her breath. In her breath. Bre- bre- ah, I'm I'm glitching out. I'm glitch. He's definitely drunk. They're going to have their main fleet at Ord Mantell. Ord Mantell has the largest imperial garrison of any neutral planet in the system. You know what's cool? Gold outfits. You're such an idiot. I thought you knew how to play. This is how you play? No. Uh-uh. Oh, oh. So you're trying to be me, but... The Emperor is waiting for us to save him from his prison. And when we do, the galaxy will shake with the power of the dark side. I am going to wipe out his whole lineage. Kylo, what do you say? I'm Darth Vader. I'm already out of prison. Yes, Lord Vader. I don't need your help or Kylo Ren's help. I am the ultimate Sith Lord. Bow down before me. I have bad knees, but in theory, I'm bowing down before you right now, Lord. I like to see film. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. Set the igniter to explode. Hey guys, just want to let you know that might be a bad idea. I think I'm Young Hong Solo, but I'm not really sure. I look like a Disney character. Set the igniter to explode straight towards the Empire Village. When I look back at all my friends, I realize, are they really my friends? Or are they just trying to pull me into this intergalactic war? Him. Yes! We have won! Everybody, dance on a table! You're wrong, Jedi fool. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Shoot me off the table? Pew 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 pew! Ah! I have Jedi mind tricks too! I'm Chewbacca! Chewbacca win! Well, I guess I'm the one who got pranked because we didn't do my idea. Look at all the figures we didn't play with! All these troopers, we got all these Jedi, we got bounty hunters, we got Mandalorians, we got an entire bar, we got random Jabba thugs, we got the Cantabite policemen, we got Tobias Beckett, we all know he was played by Woody Harrelson, we got extras we were never going to use, so I never play with these. An entire bar set up with Newt Gunray and Rune Hayako and this guy, whatever his name is, they didn't get used. Look at their nice robe. You got dressed up today and you got on camera. But they did. They did. We didn't play with Princess Kanisha stuffed animal or the Boba Fett stuffed animal. We didn't even look at my Star Trek poster. We didn't play with the retro Cara Dune who I paid, overpaid for. I, I forgot this lady's name already, but she's from Book of Boba Fett. We didn't play with Peg Leg, Venetia Del Toro. We didn't play with half the figures. I 3D printed this guy's head and we didn't even use him. He's a custom figure. You know? We didn't play with Mithril. We didn't play with the Polis Masson Medic. We didn't play with the uh, Biomar Monk. Okay? We didn't play with the Hoth Wampa Wampa Wampa. You didn't you play with anybody. Alright, let me stop you right here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the one that got pranked. I didn't even really get engaged. I don't know what you expect from me. <laughs> you thought I was going to stay here all day. I thought we were going to play. I play with every single Star Wars figure yep. you own. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm a famous talk show host. And you think I got time to hang out in your room all day in your fancy Star Wars room and play Star Wars? Same Just stop that. Let's go! Star Wars! Yeah!
I had a lot of fun, and we're about to have a lot more fun. We're going to play with every character he owns, and we're going to kill them all. So, so we'll see you later, folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire Captain Kennedy. Turns out Aaron is a really good Star Wars action figure player. And uh, he sh took us to his Star Wars room. He, he, he let me battle. It was my side versus his side. I'm not sure which side I was on. Well, it's kind of three sides in Star Wars. So I mean, but it, we we had a we had a two sided battle. We had my side. We had your side, and I did lose. And I'm a I, I, I'm not that embarrassed about it because you do seem pretty experienced at playing Star Wars figures, and uh, you've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. You've been wanting to show off your Star Wars figure collection, and now you get a chance. And you also get to show off this pretty cool dinosaur outfit you're wearing here today. That's right, but we don't know who won, really, because in 10 years, it might all get, like, they're gonna, Disney wants to remake the original trilogy, so we might have to do this all over again. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's the rumor, is that they want to remake the original trilogy. Really? Yeah, and well, I had a dream about Star Wars last night. I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know about you folks, but I can't wait to see who plays Mark Hamill. Anyway, it's been great having you on the show, Aaron. And, uh, you know, we hope you all enjoyed that interview. If you didn't, then you're probably not much of a Star Wars fan. Can't say I am, but this man has changed my mind a lot. And I really enjoyed playing Star Wars figures with him. I really enjoyed his knowledge, his criticisms of Disney and Kathleen Kennedy and all that. And, you know, I don't know if you're on his side or my side. Either way... Just, 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 he's probably gonna win. He's probably gonna win. So, so thank you, Aaron Mystery, yeah, once again. I have strategies. It has been great. You know, you gotta leave the show eventually. You can keep talking, I but have, eventually, I have more gotta, ideas. I got I other guests ideas. on the show. They so. should make a, a trilogy based on the Yuz and Vong. Please, please do that. Catherine Kennedy, please leave. Anyway, thank you, Aaron Mystery. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have much fun. One day you're gonna let go of my hand. I hope you have a lot of fun. But I'll never Star let go Wars of Star Wars. Figures. I'll never and, let go of Star and, Wars. Uh, yeah. I will never, ever, 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 ever let go of Star Wars. It's my favorite thing. Thank you, Aaron Mystery. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Have a great day. And folks, we got a we got a whole new guest coming up next. He's gonna blow your mind with some amazing. <laughs> He's going to blow your mind with some amazing magic tricks. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it is not Aaron Mister. He's got to leave the set. We might have him, we might have him escorted out. Uh, escorted out. I can't even talk. I'm so enamored. I'm so perplexed. This man has blown my mind and showed me a whole new world of star. He's coming back. Actually, Let, watch this lottery <laughs> ticket. Watch this four dollars disappear. It's gone. It's, <laughs> you just made more four. than four dollars. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right we'll be right back with our uh, next guest, Zach Braff, talking about magic tricks. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs>